Hello and welcome to one of XI Tech's AutoCAD 2017 New Features videos. My name is Terry Dean, I'm one of the application specialists here at XI Tech. This video will focus upon the importing and converting of a PDF file. Converted will be lines, circles, arcs, dimensions, true type text, solid fills and raster images are also converted. Please note that Adobe must be installed for this function to operate correctly. To import a PDF file, this can be achieved by one of two locations. One of them is via the application menu up here, and then import PDF. Alternatively, down here on the command line, you can type in PDF import. If the PDF resides in a folder, you can choose File. That will bring up a dialog box to, to allow you to navigate to that folder and then select the PDF that you now want to bring in. The Import PDF dialog box has a number of settings and you'll notice that down here we have this Options button here. Now this is only relevant if the PDF file itself contains raster images. And if so, we can tell it where to extract those and save them to a folder of our choice. I'm going to focus on the layers section within this dialog box. If Use PDF Layers is selected, each layer which was captured within the PDF file from the original drawing will be created by layer and each of those layers will be prefixed by PDF. So if I go up here to the layer drop down you can see uh, that each layer has indeed been prefixed by PDF. Something else that will happen, if you've used an SHX font, those will be converted to vectors, as you can see. But if a TTF font, true type font, has been chosen, that will actually be converted to an actual text object. If Create Object Layers is selected, four layers will potentially be created if object types exist. For example, PDF Geometry, PDF Text, PDF Solid Fills, and PDF Images. Now this particular file doesn't contain any images, so when we go to the layer drop-down list, we won't see PDF Images. However, we do have three of the other four. So if I zoom in, on the objects, you'll notice that when I select objects, they exist on the layers that were generated, however they are not by layer, as you can see. So up here, look, PDF geometry, but it's been coloured by colour. Likewise here, PDF geometry by colour. The only exception to this are objects related to dimensions. The lines still work on the PDF geometry and green, so it's the by colour method that's being adopted here. But when I select the text, that is on PDF text, which is indeed by layer. And if I select the arrowheads, which I recognise as solid fills, they are now on PDF solid fills, and that is also by layer. If current layer is selected, then every object of all types will be placed upon the current layer. So in this case, all objects will be on layer 0, and they will all be by colour. So 0, and that is yellow by colour. 0, magenta by colour. If a drawing already contains attached PDFs, and they are to be converted, by selecting one, up on the contextual ribbon, the Import as Objects tool becomes available. Selecting that will then provide a command line driven set of options. For example, we can choose Polygonal, where we can draw a shape around the area of the PDF that we want to convert. We can choose All, so that will convert all of the objects. Or we can choose Settings. And a dialog box similar, not the same as the previous dialog box we've seen before, allows us to determine how we want objects to be converted. You'll notice that the layers setting, which was previously set to current, is still available. So if I now choose, choose use PDF set layers, 
then that's exactly what will happen. So I'm going to choose all and you'll notice then we provided with three options. One is called keep, another is called detach, another one is called unload. If keep is selected, the PDF will be converted to drawing objects and the original PDF will be attached as an underlay. Moving the PDF to one side demonstrates this. So here we have the PDF and here we have the objects that have been converted. If detach is selected down here, then the PDF is converted to objects and the PDF will be detached. So as you can see, two PDFs have now been detached from this particular file. If unload is selected, having chosen import as objects, all objects, and then unload, the objects within the PDF are converted and the PDF turned off, unloaded. If I move the PDF up here, and then within the uh, reference palette, right click on that reference and choose reload. You can see it's still available to this file. That concludes this AutoCAD 2017 new features video, focusing on importing and converting PDF files. I hope you found it useful. Please check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.